Hey there, welcome to Goodworks Tractors. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you check out goodworkstractors.com. We have a great YouTube channel, so please make sure you subscribe to it. And also like our Facebook page, where you'll be one of the first to know about new listings that we have for sale. So here we have a 2017 John Deere 3038, or I'm sorry, 2038R. This is a new model that came out in 2017, so it's been out for a couple of years now. It was introduced as part of the redesign to the 2 Series family of John Deere tractors, including the 2032R and the 2025R. So the 2032R will be very similar to this machine here, but the 2025R is going to be substantially different, and you can see those videos on our YouTube channel as well. You'll see this tractor here is equipped with a Model 220R front end loader. It is a quick park loader and does have a quick attach bucket on it. It is John Deere style, but attachments are readily available, not only through John Deere, but through aftermarket sources such as myself. Also, it has a 60 inch drive over auto connect mower deck. You can see the drive over ramps there. The auto connect portion allows the deck to attach automatically as well as the PTO shaft to connect automatically. So there's no monkeying around underneath there trying to connect the two halves of the mid PTO. You can see the R4 industrial tires on there. These are going to be safe on your lawn. They're not going to tear up your lawn like an ag tire would. See the fuel location back here, which is very convenient, an improvement from the old uh, design of the 2 Series there. Your fuel level will be up here on the dash along with some other controls. You have your temperature, uh, your RPM gauge, and then your instrument uh, display, which will be down in this um, black area right here. You can scroll through it actually with, with this button here. And while we're here, we have turn signals. These two buttons here will control your regen. So typically it's going to be an automatic setting, but you can move it to a park setting with that P button there, or you can turn it off, disable it there with the uh, far right button. You also have flashers and light controls here. So you will see you do have fender mounted work lights. Those are standard equipment. One here and then a matching one on the other side over there, along with your headlights up front. Okay. And then you can see your flashers, which would be up on the ROPS, the Roller Protection System. It is a folding ROPS. You can fit it easily inside a 7 foot high garage door. On the back side here, you're going to have your 540 RPM rear PTO. That's going to be standard, along with a drawbar down below and a Category 1 three point hitch. Suspension seat with armrests, it is adjustable back and forth. I would have liked to see them put a, uh, a weight adjustment on there, but I guess sometimes you can't have it all. Little storage compartment here, an open spot there, and another couple open spots over there. One looks to be for a drink. You can see inside here. I would like to see some more storage, whether that's John Deere or Kubota. I'm not sure why they don't offer more storage or larger storage compartments and locations. Built-in step here to get up, which is very nice. Rubber floor mat as well. Aids in operator comfort. Going to have your parking brake right here with this orange handle. This one here will select your range. You have a high, neutral, and a low. In the back there, the yellow knob right here, this is going to select your mid or rear PTO. You can also run both at the same time. Silver here, we'll push that down with your heel to engage the locking rear differential. This will select two and four wheel drive. It's an up down motion on that. You do have a split brake. They're tied together right now, but uh, you can do left or right or combine them together, which is most common anymore. Tilt steering up here. Take a little bit better look at the front end as we walk to the other side of the machine. Here's a discharge side of that mower deck. Have your gauge wheels there. Have your quick couplers right here for the front end loader. One, two, three, four, you can see. This is where you would plug in a uh, snow blower or a um, plow, that kind of thing. The hydraulic connections for that. And you would still control those with your loader joystick right here. So you do have throttle control here along with auto throttle, sorry, auto throttle, 
Um, so you can turn that off or on. So if you want the um, RPMs to go up as you push down on a pedal, you would engage the auto throttle. If you want to control the engine RPMs merely by how you set the engine uh, handle here, then you have that option as well. So again, forward and reverse foot pedals there. Uh, seat adjust right there if we didn't touch on it. Okay. What do we have up here? We've got our deck height control. This is a deck height adjustment knob. And this lever right here is separate, uh, a separate control to raise and lower the mower deck versus the old style where it's a three point hitch. So this will raise and lower the mower deck right here. This will turn your PTO on or off. We have cruise control right here. This is gonna raise and lower your three point hitch on the backside. And then again, our loader control here. And don't forget it does have the float function. So that's down. So if you had the tractor on and you push forward like this normally, it's gonna put down pressure and um, you know try to lift the front tires off the ground. You can go beyond that, like that, into a float function, okay? So we're back in neutral. Um, this is down pressure, beyond that is float. And you just pop back out to get out of that. Very nice machine. I love the redesign. Really the only knocks that I have on it is again that tool storage. Um, a lack of it which is a kind of across the board not just relegated to this model here um, also the two range hydrostatic transmission i'd love to see a third range uh, the kubota b series does have that third range medium a lot of folks don't use it but i find it handy like to see that um, weight adjustment on the seat you know but i'm nitpicking on some things overall it's a beautiful machine this one here has I think 167 hours on it, um, about four years of factory warranty still, 38 horsepower Yanmar diesel engine in it. It's, it's very nice, a very nice machine. So get more information and pictures at goodworkstractors.com. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page. Just a reminder, this may or may not be for sale at the time that you see this video, but again, check our website there for our current inventory. Thanks for watching and have a great day.